Omaira Sanchez was only 13 when this photo was captured. Trapped under the rubbles and mud, her fight for survival lasted almost 60 hours. On November 13, 1985, Volcano Nevado de Ruiz in Colombia erupted, causing meltdown of mountains ice caps, forming mud flows and debris, which were headed towards the near city of Armero. Initial wave wiped out as much as 20,000 souls, destroyed numerous homes and left many people trapped, and one of them was Omaira Sanchez. For the first few hours after the mud flow hit, she was covered by concrete, but managed to get her hand through a small crack in the wreckage. The present people attempted to pull her out, but found the task impossible without breaking her legs in the process. Each time somebody pulled her, the water was rising, so that it seemed she would drown if they let her go. So volunteers placed a tire around her body to keep her afloat. Divers discovered that her legs were caught under a door made of bricks, and to make matters worse, with her dead aunt's arms wrapped around her feet. On the third night, she began hallucinating, and her eyes turned black due to the bursting of her blood vessels. Due to the poor equipment, the volunteers couldn't do much as they only had basic tools such as shovels, cutting tools and stretchers. They tried to save her by draining the surrounding water with a pump. However, her legs were bent under the concrete if she was kneeling and it was impossible to free her without severing her legs. Lacking the surgical equipment to save her from the effects of an amputation, the present doctors agreed that it would be more humane to just let her die. And after nearly 60 hours, on November 16th, Omaira Sanchez died of hypothermia and gangrene. The French reporter who took this photo said that capturing that moment was the only way to report properly on the courage, suffering and the dignity of the little girl. He was later accused of being a vulture, but the truth is, without this photograph, nobody would know the agony of Omaira Sanchez. Rest in peace, little one.